we, we learn that Israel did not fulfill their part of the covenant that they made at the end of the book of Joshua. They did not serve and obey Yahweh, their Lord. They, and, and, and you need to hear this. They, they couldn't, because of that, they couldn't fulfill God's mission for them to be a blessing to the nations because they became just like the nations. They lost their distinctiveness. They, they compromised what made them God's people in the first place. Uh, specifically, we, we learned that they failed God in two main ways. Uh, at first, we learned that they only exercised half-hearted obedience. God called them to utterly destroy all of the pagan altars, all of the foreign gods, but they didn't. God wanted them gone because he knew that these false gods would would compete as rivals for the the people's hearts and would ultimately lead them astray. Uh, God's people were only half-hearted, which is always a problem when it comes to being being faithful to God. Uh, That's why a a big part of our our mission here at Troy UMC is to uh, help grow people into wholehearted followers of Jesus. Halfway just does not cut it with God. Uh, But secondly, uh, what typically happens when you only go halfway with God? Well, you eventually forget God altogether. And that's exactly what happened in Israel. After Joshua and his generation died, we read this in Judges chapter 2, verse 10. Another generation grew up after them who did not know the Lord or the work that he had done for Israel. You know, a major theme throughout the book of Judges is this theme of wholehearted commitment to knowing God and following his ways. He, 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 he wants your whole heart, not, not just a part of it. And when we are half-hearted, things do not turn out well. We end up abandoning God for cheap imitations and we forfeit our calling to be a blessing to others because when we are half-hearted, There is nothing sacred in us to bless others with. 